Okay, so today we're looking at a 1966 Impala. So this thing is in a gray primer already. It has been driven around. So this will be coming in for uh, light bodywork and paint. Engine bay will most likely be getting detailed. Disassembly of the uh, exterior trim. Block sanding lightly just to identify any major dents. Lightly body worked. Scratch refinement and some priming. Overall, it's been scrubbed down with some soap and water and it feels pretty straight so far but we'll see what the block uh, kind of shows me when I block sand it out. Gonna uh, start with uh, some masking, disassembly, masking up the interior, the engine bay, taking off the door panels and prepping the door jams. Interior's in good condition. Okay, now we're looking at the Impala. It's being masked up and prepped for uh, block sanding. So the door jams are all masked up, the engine bay, and then all the glass. The trim has all been removed. So this has now had a quick orbital sand with 180 grit. See the entire car has a scuff on it. Some of the edges that had some paint peeling are all feathered. Also now, there's a white guide coat on there. So there's white paint I've sprayed on it. It looks like pebbles. So this now will be getting block sanded off. Back down to the black primer, and then uh, any dents will be a lot more visible because they'll still have the white primer in the dent. Passenger side, driver side, same thing. It's a few rust spots that will be getting sanded out. There's some minor dents. One that was identified during the first scuff was a dent right here. But otherwise, I'm sure a few more dents will be getting identified. Here's a little bit of a dent right here and whatnot. As this thing gets blocked out in another 180 grit, and then the bodywork stage and spot priming will begin. Okay, so this side has been block sanded. Identified a few dents, wherever the yellow tape is, some door dings. Otherwise the rear quarter panel is good. The lower here, there's some rust. Has been rust converted and ground out. <clears throat> the underside of the hood has been prepped. Trunk jam in the trunk. And this side has the door block sand and just finishing up in the quarter, the hood and the front fender. Okay, just in a light bodywork stage, some white filler on some dents. This door wasn't too bad. One or two spots, one or two spots in the quarter, the lower bit of the quarter. Just did a fill in the trunk as there's a few dents all over the place. So there's definitely a little bit more involved in the trunk there. This side didn't block out as straight either. So multiple spots of basically door dings that didn't get repaired uh, before the previous prime. The roof is still looking pretty good. A couple rock chips. 
If you go over on the roof on this side though, there's definitely a couple more dents. So we have three spots here that were body worked. The rear drip drill here, even though trim goes up to it, there's a lot of major rust pits. So there's some filler just on the edge that will get sanded mostly off. Just uh, due to rust pits. The back of the trunk area here as well. Just light body work. Some edges need to be feathered. So there's some paint chipping off that was feathered here. As well as down here, feathered down to bare metal. And that would need a light little filler just to fill the uh, feathering from the painted multiple layers of paint and primer to the bare metal. Um, other than that, it's looking not too bad. Should be able to get some uh, primer on this later today, as well as uh, paint the door jams. Here, the bumper has been prepped. So it's been pretty smooth, a couple minor imperfections, but they're just on the lower bit of the bumper, as well as some rock chips, as this is a painted black bit on top of, underneath the chrome. Okay, just taking a look at the uh, 66 Impala after primer here. So the exterior is primed. You can see uh, all the body filler has a few coats of primer on it. A few bad spots have a couple extra coats. The underside of the trunk now, trunk now is uh, primed. So as well, the interior of the jams have been lightly scuffed down and put some black paint on them. So now we can do a closed car paint job. Door jams as well. Have gloss black on them. Underside the hood, gloss black as well. The jams, light overspray into the, onto the exterior body. But now the exterior body will be getting sanded and prepped for exterior paint. And we'll go from there. Okay, so the entire car has been prepped in 400 grit. It's pretty much ready for the final paint. have to do a light masking get it in the paint booth and should be good to go door jams are already painted Okay, just in the paint booth, final preparations. So it's all masked up. We'll be getting a light coat of sealer, kind of a dark gray, black sealer. Then we're getting a couple coats of base coat. and then some clear coat. Okay, just in the paint booth here. So this is after the second paint job. The first one didn't turn out as good as I would like. So yesterday the car got sanded down with 800 grit and then another two coats of clear coat turned out a lot more respectful for a gun finish. So now just final assembly, a couple little dust nibs and whatnot to do some paint correction, but otherwise the overall paint job looks pretty acceptable. And we'll go from there.
Okay, so pretty much finishing up the uh, Impala here. Assembled some trim, put the bumpers on, put the windshield trim on, assembled some of the uh, emblems, door panels and whatnot, rear bumper, wheel arch trim, put some new clips in the rear trim of the rear glass so it stays on. Overall, pretty much assembled. Gonna take a light look at some imperfections in the paint, just wet sand and polish them out later in the week here. Otherwise, it is pretty much complete. This is a final update on this one as it'll be getting delivered early next week, I believe. Um, probably aim for Monday. Anyways, this is the 66 Impala. Some fingerprints just needing some detailing. Ready to do some burnouts.